welcome back friends in this video we are going to talk about the type of or types of restriction enzyme depending upon their biochemical activity and uh, the way of isolation or the source of isolation okay you now we all know that restriction enzymes are produced by bacterial cells to protect themselves against the foreign invader DNA, right? So the restriction enzyme must have a source and the source most of the time are from different bacteria. Okay, so uh, depending upon the extraction source and obviously their biochemical activity for the recognition of DNA sequence and cleavage because the action of restriction enzyme, if you remember my restriction enzyme uh, class, you probably know that this restriction enzyme is having the activity of first of all first of all recognition after the recognition of the cleavage site it will cleave or digestion and third part of the restriction enzyme activation this is uh, the uh, recognition and digestion works uh, just right after each other so recognition will be first priority then then uh, after the recognition it will digest or or so let me write or it can modify the DNA sometimes the restriction enzymes can have the modification system and usually the modification terms uh, usually using uh, methylase right methylase and we can find two types of methylase dam methylase and and obviously DCM methylase we can find these two types of methylase okay okay or uh, dam methylase usually methylates adenosine residue DCM methylase methylate cytosine residues okay now these are the systems that you can find in restriction enzymes now depending upon the source of restriction enzyme and biochemical activity we can divide this restriction enzyme into three different types majorly okay now the three type can be so let me write the types in this case one is isocisomer second one is neocisomer and the third one is guess isocodomer I have already discussed this but uh, uh, I need to make another uh, variation so I am doing this because in the previous videos is not that much clear and iso Cordomer. Okay. Now, so uh, again, look at this terminology. Iso means similar, right? So let me write it. Iso means similar. Sizomer means cleavage of the DNA or something. So similar type of cleavage will be called isocisomer okay and okay so let me discuss so suppose in all this case what we are having we are having the DNA sequence say this is the DNA sequence in both the three cases all the three cases we have the three DNA sequence for explaining these three different types of uh, restriction enzymes now say that in case of isocisomers what happens there are two different source of extraction of the enzyme okay so here it says this is the source number one so let me okay this is source number one this is source number two two different bacterial cell okay and the enzyme is extracted from both these two sources but though we extract the enzyme from two different sources but the enzymes are having exactly same remember exactly same recognition site as well as exactly same digestion site okay so all both of them recognizes here it comes at a particular point exact same point say this one and they are also having exactly same cleavage site which is this point so all of these things are same for both these enzymes but they are isolated from two different sources. They are called isocisomers. Then second type of neocisomers. Obviously, we are having two different sources. Two different sources. Bo from both these sources, the recognition site 
for both these enzymes are same okay so recognition site i am telling you recognition site again are same this is the recognition site but the site for cleavage so remember this is the recognition site and this black means the site for digestion or cleavage okay so let me write it digestion means d recognition means r so i must put it here uh, d okay so in this case also the recognition site are same for both these enzymes from source 1 as well as from source 2 recognition site is same but the cleavage site or digestion site for this s1 say this one and the digestion for for s2 is this one so the digestion site for s1 and s2 varies right that is the difference between isocesomer and neosisomer so neosisomers are those restriction enzymes which are isolated from different sources having same sequence or same region of recognition but different cleavage site okay now in third kind is isocodomers right so isocodomer mean again let me tell you so they are isolated from two different sources this is source 1 this is source 2 again the recognition site for the restriction is different two different recognition site this is recognition site 1 this is recognition site 2 those are varying but the site for cleavage is the same okay so the site of cleavage is the same so not only the site of cleavage is the same though they recognize different sequences but after the cleavage what they generate is called compatible ends that means after the cleavage they both this cases they generate this kind of gaps so this is the digestion which is common so these are the three different type of restriction enzymes so let me explain you first one is isocisomers so the source are different the size of uh, so site of recognition is same site of cleavage is also same is called isocisomers second type source of restriction enzymes are different site for recognition is same but site for cleavage or digestion is different it is called neosisomers third kind source from isolation is different recognition site for the cleavage is different but after the recognition what they produces produces compatible ends and obviously similar type of end that's the beauty so knowing these things are important because if we treat a particular dna sequence with uh, isocodomers that means we can generate compatible ends by treating the dna sequence with two different enzymes right so it actually increases the versatility of use of restriction enzymes in molecular biology okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you